Hello YouTube, this is Mahesh from Mahitex. Today we are going to install Ubuntu server on our Proxmox machine. Go to the link in the description box and download Ubuntu server. So whichever is the latest version at the time of the release, download it. So it will start to download. So for this video I have already downloaded the file. So let me just show the file to you. So here is the file ubuntu 19.10 server and this ubuntu install will be fully command line interface. Now open a web browser and point our proxmox server which is 192.168.1.1 enter the username as root and the password. Click on login, it will ask you for a subscription dialog box, just click ok. So first we are going to upload our iso into the server. So just select the server, select the local container, select the container and then click upload. So now select the file and select where you have downloaded your Ubuntu ISO and click open then select upload. Now once the upload is completed, so we are going to create the virtual machine. For that click the server and click create vm so in the name just type the os name ubuntu and from the iso image we select the ubuntu image and the type is linux and leave the version as default click next from here for the graphics you are just leaving default going to hard disk change the type to sata and the disk size to 50 gb now click next for the CPU we are going to leave it default, click next and for the memory we are going to increase the memory from 512 to 306, 3096 which is 3 GB of RAM. So click next and add a network adapter and finish. So now our virtual machine has been created successfully, now we are going to start it. To start it, select the virtual machine in the left hand side right click and hit start so once it has been started we can view it with the console right click and select console now as you can see we have connected to the machine with via the console you can see many commands running here it is very normal so now just select the english language and the keyboard layout as english and then for our network adapter since we don't have DHCP here, we are going to assign a static IP. So for that just go on edit IPv4, it will be disabled by default, just I am going to give manual details. For the subnet 192.168.1.0 slash 24, this is my subnet and for the IP address we are going with 192.168.1.4 and for the gateway it is 192.168.1.1. And same for the DNS servers 192.168.1.1. So now just click save and then hit done. And then it is asking for proxy. We don't have any proxy here, so just simply hit done. And then for the update server, just click done. And we are going to continue without updating. So now we are going to install into the entire disk. So select use entire disk and select our 50 GB virtual hard disk. It is asking for the confirmation, just click done and select continue. Now for the name of this virtual machine we are going with Ubuntu VM. And for the server name also same Ubuntu VM. Just to keep it simple we are giving the same name for everything username ubuntu vm and password your password so now you remember this username and password we will need it later for sshing into the server so now we are going to install open ssh server why because we need to access this server from the network so we need to install open ssh server so after you click done Installation will run through. 
have sped sped up this process so that you don't want to sit here and watch installing for uh, 10 minutes so now once installation is done it is asking us to restart the system so now you may face an error cannot eject the cd for this what you need to do is just close the console go and select the hardware tab of your virtual machine and select the cd rom click edit and then choose don't use any drive and then now just connect the virtual machine via console and hit enter here so automatically the server will reboot yes it is restarting now we wait for it to come it back up we'll just give it a little more time yes it is coming up So it is setting up all the services that we have asked. So it will load our network adapter. It will load our open SSH server. So everything it will load. As I said already, it is a command line interface operating system. So for the username, we are giving Ubuntu VM, and the password that we have set during the installation. Now as you can see, I may I can able to easily log into the machine. So now what we will do is we will just exit out of here, go to our Mac and we try to access the server from here. For this we need a terminal. So go to utilities and terminal. From here we are going to type the command for accessing the server. So which is ssh. Ubuntu VM the user name of the server at the rate the IP address of the server 192.168.1.4 if you give enter it will ask for the authenticity of the host key verification just click yes type yes and then it will ask for the password so you want to enter the password of the Ubuntu VM user once the password is correct you will be successfully logged into the ubuntu vm via ssh so you have full access to the server now so this is how we install ubuntu server in the proxmox server so thanks for watching have a great day please subscribe to the channel mahitex thank you